Hey everybody, happy day nine of the 12 days of juggling. Up top. Yeah. This is a series where I juggle Christmassy related things and I have an excuse to give away some awesome gifts that have to do with juggling. Thanks to everyone who's entered the last eight days. That's awesome. Day seven's winner has been notified. That person's here. They won those Goddesses of Gravity posters as well as the stickers and the book. But again, don't worry. We still have more giveaways coming up and all of the ones coming up have props in them. So they're extra. Today's giveaway is three juggling poi. These are actually not the poi that you're gonna be getting. These are just mine. You cannot have them. But the ones I am giving away look like this. They're from Things on Strings. The body is blue, the strings are white, and the knobs are white. They were picked out by my favorite poi juggler, Bo, or Bao, I don't wanna say his name. If you are unfamiliar with poi juggling, go check him out. He's just it's unbelievable. So I'm giving away three poi so that you can practice your poi juggling, or you could just work on two and do poi spinning. If you're interested in learning more poi spinning stuff, go check out my friend Drex. He has a YouTube channel with some amazing tutorials on how to get started in poi spinning. And again, if you want inspiration for poi toss juggling, go check out Bo on Instagram. There's a link in the description for that as well. To win that, all you have to do is the same as you've been doing. You gotta watch this video, listen for when I say the secret code word, and then click on the link in the description put in your info and that secret code word and you will be entered and it'll be great. We're coming in on the end of the 12 days of juggling and I've juggled a bunch of Christmassy holiday things. So what's left? I mean, you already know because I put it in the title of the video, but I'm gonna pretend like it's a surprise. So today I'm gonna juggle the big man's favorite snack, cookies. I had to get the gluten-free cookies because I'm allergic to wheat. I'm sure they taste fine. So I'm gonna bake these, which will hopefully go well. I'm not the best at baking, but I got a mix, so hopefully it will be fine. And then we'll see how, and then we'll see how many cookies I can juggle. Before I do this, I just want to quickly address, every time I juggle food, I get a lot of people that get upset at me for juggling food. I just wanna let you know, I most definitely do not take for granted food and I'm definitely aware and sensitive to the fact that so many people around the world do not have food but sadly I cannot bake these cookies and give them to all the people who are hungry in the world for the sake of this video I feel like it's okay it's okay for me to juggle some food hopefully you understand plus haven't you always wondered what it'd be like to juggle cookies like I don't think it's gonna go very well I think it's gonna be a delicious mess but <laughs> That was my doorbell. <laughs> it's not a very good doorbell. <laughs> Lemon, I know. It scared me too. <sighs> okay. <laughs> it's been a long time since I cooked cookies. How we do it? It's pretty easy, right? Heat the oven to 350 degrees. Yeah. Do not eat raw cookie dough. Tell me what to do, Betty Crocker. Okay, I have stuff. I got a bowl right there. Got some vanilla. I got some butter. It told me to soften the butter in the microwave for 10 seconds, which I did, which resulted in it kind of being melted. But then it also said, do not melt the butter. So I'm getting some conflicting directions, Betty. That, it's not melted. It's softened. Water. One teaspoon of vanilla. Excellent. And the egg. Skills. Mix it in a medium bowl until well blended. I'm so good at baking cookies from a box. Look at that cookie dough. I'll eat raw cookie dough if I want. I should probably juggle cookie dough, yeah? Don't you think? I've never juggled cookie dough before. Let's just try it. Let's make some cookie dough balls. Wash my hands, relax. Three cookie dough balls. Oh, they're sticky. Oh yeah. All I wanna do is catch it in my mouth. But I know that I'll drop it. And I'm not supposed to eat raw cookie dough. Now I can put them on the sheet and then we can cook them. Put them in the 
oven. Have fun, cookie dough. You will soon be a cookie. Be safe. And now we wait for 11 to 13 minutes or until edges are lightly golden brown. I still have a lot of cookie dough left. It's only really got one raw egg. The odds of that egg having salmonella are very, very small. But the odds of me having a wonderful cookie dough experience are very, very high. Sometimes you have to weigh the risks. I guess now would be a good time to say that I do not endorse eating raw cookie dough or juggling cookies, especially if you are a children. I am not a children. I can do whatever I want. But I did not say you could do it. You gotta ask your parents, or if you're an adult, you can do it all you want. There are so many calories in this. I don't wanna look at that anymore. While we're waiting, that would be an excellent time to mention the secret code word for today's giveaway. So if you wanna win three poi, not these ones, but these ones, if you wanna win three of those, you can enter today's giveaway. The secret code word is milk. M-I-L-K, milk. As in Santa and Taylor really like cookies and milk. Milk. So if you wanna enter today's giveaway, click on the link in the description, put in your info in the code word milk, and you can be entered to win those three fabulous poi from Things on Strings and be as awesome as Bow Juggler. I'm not, I gotta stop eating the cookie dough. How long is left? I'm excited to juggle the cookies. <laughs> They're gonna just crumble. That's okay. I'm still gonna eat them when they crumble. I washed and cleaned this one part of my floor so well, you can eat off of it. Literally. How much time is there? Cookies! Cookies! Yes! Look at these cookies! One cookie for Taylor. Two cookies for Taylor. Three cookies for Taylor. Uh, they turned out okay. This one, I smooshed. Some of them feel a little soft. I'm gonna let them cool, see if that helps them stiffen up a little bit. Gotta be strong to juggle. Gotta be a tough cookie. They're quite good. I'm impressed, Betty. So of course, you can't just have cookies, right? You gotta have cookies and milk. Cookies without milk is like juggling without dropping. They have to go together. I don't actually drink cow's milk. I drink cashew milk. I don't know, I have an autoimmune disease. Nut-based milk tends to be a little better for that stuff, so. But even though I don't have the milk of the cow, I have a cup that is like a cow. It's got little udders. Delicious. Bottoms up, my friends. It's a nice cookie. I think they're good enough to juggle. Let's, let's do it. I'm going to do the flat cookie throw method. It's a very advanced move. Um, I just made it up. Basically, you pop the cookie up and try to keep it flat and then catch it in the other hand. Observe. Three cookies. One, two, three. I'm optimistic. It's totally working. It dropped and a bunch of crumbs came off, but it didn't die. They totally held up so much better than I thought they would. I thought they were gonna crumble the second that I juggled them. I'm so happy. Let's see if we can do some tricks. That's hard. <laughs> it, it also didn't break. Yay! Cookies are more durable than candy canes and snow globes. We should make a juggle ability scale. Because the cookies are so big, I'm gonna try breaking the cookie in half. That is not half, but it's the best we've got. I'm gonna try to do, similar to what I did with the marshmallows, I'm gonna juggle two in one hand. I'm gonna try to catch one <laughs> in the cup. Yay! <laughs> it's off. <laughs> I don't know why it's so fun to throw stuff into liquid, but it's fun. Let's try to do that other one that was really tough where we throw two up and try to catch them both in the cup. I think I've gotten better at it. Cookies. Oh, I just am spilling all over. It's hard.
almost. This is easier than the marshmallows because they have more weight, but they also splash more. <laughs> it's okay. Yay, I did it. Ooh, it's slippery. I'm gonna try to juggle four because that's the logical step. <laughs> four cookies. This is for you, Santa. Okay, to be fair, I slipped. I should have done the milk after. Regrets. Okay, we broke one of the cookies. That's okay. That's why we have so many. I'm not gonna slip this time. <laughs> Four cookies. They're so crumbly. Way easier than marshmallows. <laughs> Has some oomph to it. I feel like I should try five. Five cookies. I think that was a really good try. Yeah. 30 second rule. They're so good. That was so fun. I had a great time. Yeah. I think 12 year old Taylor would have been very proud of me today because who doesn't want to juggle cookies and then eat them all? I'm gonna be hyper. Um, that's all we've got for this video. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure you enter today's giveaway so you can win those wonderful poi from Things on Strings. Well, my battery died on my camera and I don't wanna replace it right now. So um, yeah, thanks for watching me juggle cookies. I hope you had a good time. I hope you too get to enjoy some cookies this holiday season. And I will see you tomorrow for the 10th day of juggling. Bye. I'd be a good Santa. If Santa's watching this, if you ever need like a break, and you want maybe like a like an apprentice? I'm happy to come shadow you sometime. I'm really good at cookies. I mean, eating them, not baking them. I'm good at eating cookies. Good at drinking milk. I was a security guard for a while, so I know how locks work and it's just security in general. So I know how to get into places. I like giving presents. So hit me up, Santa.